All right, the next issue that could occur, that could cause contamination, uh, number four, uh, with sterile technique is improper opening of the gauze or improper opening of the 4x4 four four packet. First, let's look at the gauze. One thing we don't want to do, as we talked about for the sterile towel, is to rip it open. We want to use, again, the thenar eminence, find the edge here, and open. If the gauze has been contained for a period of time, sometimes the plastic will stick to the gauze on the inside. So it's a good idea to make sure that the gauze is not stuck to the plastic on the inside and just move it around just like this here. And then, of course, we can use the thenar eminence and open to the edge. All right. So we want to open to the edge. So, thenar eminence open all the way to the edge. All right. Now, when we put the gauze on the sterile field, we want to make sure that it lands somewhere around this area as best as possible. As best as possible. Also, when we open the gauze, we don't want to open over top of the field. We want to open away from the field, all right? When we push it on the field, we want to make sure that we're standing here away from the field, and then the push will occur with these three fingers here to push it on to the field. But try not to open like this, like eggs, because you're still over top, and try to, as best as possible, use the fingers to push onto the field. If I'm on this edge here, that's okay because it's still close to that inch uh, around the border of the 4x4. Four four. But, of course, at this point, I'm going to get a real good push with these fingers to, as best as possible, get it to land at this surface. The major concern with putting it on the field is to make sure that this does not touch any area that the actual bare hand touched in the opening process. All right. So what I want to do is make sure that I push as best as possible ah, onto the field. Now, if that happens, we would get a new gauze, especially if we weren't sure that the gauze touched the inch border here where the fingers possibly touched too. And we would open again the gauze packet and place onto the field there as best as possible. And again, we want this to land in an area where the hands did not touch or where the body was not over top of. All right. Then with the 4x4, four four, we want to make sure that, again, we do not rip the packet open. We want to use the thenar eminence to open the 4x4. Four and be careful so it does not tear. If for some reason, again, you still think that it sticks or will stick to the inside of the packet, just like we spoke about with the gauze, then just kind of move it around while it's still inside, just to make sure that it possibly will not stick. And then I can open all the way to the edge, and on the same side, place the 4x4s four on the same side and push it onto the field. 